We get questions all the time asking us to help people respond to claims that no one really needs a gig. For those moments, here's our own Christopher Mitchell to break it down. Essential infrastructure, you know, like roads and bridges and electricity and that sort of thing, they're built with a future in mind. It's a bewildering future, all right. They meet our immediate needs now because we've planned for that extra capacity. When I want to use my toaster, I don't have to worry about blowing a fuse. I don't turn off the lights and I don't unplug my fridge. There's more electricity that's flowing into my house than I can use at any given time. And that's how our networks will work in the future. And in fact, you know, they already work that way in Wilson in North Carolina, in Cedar Falls, Iowa, Sandy, Oregon. And the, the big cable and the telephone companies, they might ask, what application could possibly justify a gig? But that's not how we should think about infrastructure. A single car or truck doesn't need a three-lane highway. No vehicle is three lanes wide. The highways, they're designed for traffic, many different vehicles. They have to accommodate these different vehicles at the same time. And it's the same thing with our internet infrastructure. No one application needs a gigabit network, but households already have many connected devices, like computers and smartphones, tablets, game consoles, lots of other things. And each year we get new and better devices. They all demand connectivity, and next year they're gonna demand more connectivity. You remember the world with dial-up access? We couldn't stream video. And now that our connectivity is better, streaming video is just a part of life. Our applications get better as our networks get better. It's a sort of chicken and egg problem. But the fact is, we actually need robust infrastructure to have that kind of innovation to begin with. Fast movers like Chattanooga. Oh, pardon me, boy. Yes, yes. Is that the Chattanooga choo-choo? That's the Chattanooga choo-choo. On track 29. They're seeing an influx of entrepreneurs. Now, the big cable and telephone companies are all like, okay, all right, all right, here's a gig. But a gig ain't a gig when the upload is 90 or even 97% slower. That's what the big cable guys are doing in particular. They're pretending to offer a gig. We, we shouldn't accept that. We need to be able to produce big things. And that means we need to upload big things with cloud services and iPhones recording in 4K video, and we need fast upload speeds. And for that, we need fiber and we need high capacity wireless networks. Frankly, most of us could get by just fine with a 100 megabit symmetrical connection. But the cost to build that network, they're basically the same as building a gig. So let's think bigger. Don't be fooled. Oh. You know, here's a little something extra for our fellow geeks. You know, engineers, they understand that you're not going to run a gig application on a gig network. And that's because there's just no headroom. The time that you want to add capacity to a network, it's not when the network is really full at 99% capacity. It's really much earlier than that. And, and that's because when you start dealing with congestion, what happens is the network starts dropping packets and then you have to retransmit the same information over and over again and you get even more congestion. It just, it's a self-reinforcing cycle. Think about it this way. When you're at your local bar and it starts to get busy, you have to start saying the same things twice but louder so that the person next to you can hear them. So the whole bar starts getting noisier and noisier as everyone has to talk over the top of each other. No one can communicate anymore. Or to take a different example, uh, the interstate. It, it flows really well when it's far below the maximum number of cars that you can park on it. Uh, you know, you, you, as you add more cars to it, basically it just gets more and more congested until everyone's stuck. It's the same way that networks just work better when you're not at full capacity. And that's why we need a gig.